welcome back to my favourite series on this channel, No Context Britain. A series in which we have a look at the goings on in Britain. Oh no, are you brave? Would you would you be brave enough to open it, or would you just would you just delete WhatsApp? I'd just delete WhatsApp. Don't know why they took this picture of just um just just two 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 fellows going to Diagon Alley. I couldn't think of a joke. I couldn't think of a joke for this. They're, they're going to Diagon Alley, like in the Harry Potter in the Harry Potter books and films. It's a reference. It's a reference to Harry Potter, the 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 series. Where the where do you live? where this happens to you, where there's just cows roaming free. As, as, <laughs> just let him in. Just let him in your house. He wants to come in. Happy Christmas, Harry. Happy Christmas, Ron. This always bothered me. Like, who says happy Christmas? It's Merry Christmas. God, Harry, were you raised in a closet? Yeah, that is a fair point. I've never heard anyone ever say happy Christmas. Who wrote that screenplay? They, they did not understand real people and real conversations. Do not steal our bike. Your phone's been passed to the police. You are not welcome on our estate. If you see these kids, contact security immediately. Also, boy in blue, you can't pull off black trousers and white socks. Black trousers and white socks are... It's a staple. I always wear them. I think it looks sick. I'm not... I mean, I'm wearing, like, grey joggers, but, like... I, I, I never wear black socks. I feel as though, because if I'm wearing black t-shirt, black black trousers, black socks, it's too much. Do you know what I mean? you got to you got to have a little bit of white to, to break it up a bit. How does that even happen? I'm confused, because I thought, okay, that, that bit... Oh, okay, I see, I see, I see. That bit was supposed to go there, and then that bit, yeah. Good. I'm a genius. Customers who bought box wine and also bought paracetamol. Isn't it mental how cheap paracetamol is? It's 19p. Apparently, right? This is a little PSA for all of you out there. Uh, if you're in the UK and you go to the hospital or the doctor or something, don't let them prescribe you paracetamol because it costs the NHS like, I don't know, I, I think it's like a fiver or something. It's a lot of money. It costs the NHS for like no reason. I don't know why they don't just go to Asda and get get their paracetamol for 19p, the, the idiots. But yeah, it costs the NHS well loads of money. So uh, uh, reject it and go, go and get some 19p paracetamol. When I I die that is how i want to be sent off just a just a hearse that says bastard what a way to go and you know that man was loved you know that man was very very loved this was the most orwellian part of the pandemic that's just fucking terrifying i've been seeing a lot of like a, a pandemic nostalgia on my timeline recently and I, I don't know what that's about because it was awful i mean there were some good bits like we just got to like sit around and like play animal crossing and watch tiger king that, that was great i have good memories of that i have fond memories of the first like couple of weeks because it was exciting this had never happened before in in our lifetimes i went to the asda and the shelves were bare there was nothing there it was it was it was a, it was a weird time and it was like oh what's gonna happen what's gonna happen but then as the years went on it just got it just got bad it just got boring i'd say the first two weeks to a month were okay but after that it was just dead you can't go out you can't go to restaurants i can't go to bars and it's only now that like you can actually do those things that i realize how much i miss them i love going to sweaty bars and being shoulder to shoulder with with other losers i love it what might a brit say if he slash he were unveiling a surprise and the answer is apparently bob's your uncle um, i've never heard anyone say that ever and i've lived in england for 23 years oh yes mm. classic english pub delicacy if you're not from england go to a pub and ask for a porky pint look the barman dead in the eye and say mister i would like a porky pint you have to have the mister at the start it's a code this is a secret it's a secret uh, recipe but like, you know like the mcdonald's secret menu you've got to look him dead in the eye and go mister i would like a porky pint and you get the bendy straw too that's great oh this is a classic video for some reason like this whole video is just like my idea of hell <laughs> people doing it and they're all on their own they're not with people they're just on their own they're just wandering about like npcs we plan to cut all homeless people in half by 2025 hey, i'm voting tory <laughs> 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 why is there roller skates are you chasing down the police officer roll it's like that fucking <laughs> It's like that scene in Batman and Robin where they just like kick off the ice skates and just go up and go, go after Mr. Freeze. Wait, well, did he just have these tactical roller skates ready in case there was a thief aloof? Imagine running away from the police and you're like, oh yeah, I'm in the clear, I'm well paced. You look behind you, there's some fucking police officer on roller skates like going after you. The police have to do <laughs> roller skates training. <laughs> 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 Guys, it's <laughs> 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 
<laughs> I love that video. How have I never seen that video before? Very steep and too high. A one star review of Ben. Very, I mean, fair enough. If it's not for you, it's not for you. I want my money back and they're at the show. I don't know what you, that's London. Uh, to be fair, the, the water does look particularly um, grim. That, I don't know why it looks so grim. It's never normally that. I mean, it is, it is fucking grim, but it's not normally that grim. But I mean, that's that's what you expect when you go up the Shard. It's, it's London. It's not like the, the Caribbean. <laughs> My daughter wanted this dog cake for her birthday. I'm not paying £25 when I can do it. <laughs> So, I mean, to be fair, I mean, you, that's that's quite expensive. I don't know how much cakes are, um, because I don't I don't buy cakes. But that twenty, actually, no, no, they're, they're little cupcakes, aren't they? It needs to be individual. Okay, you know what? Twenty five pound for that. I think that seems fair. But that is just cursed. It probably all tasted relatively the same. Actually, this one I'd say it looks more more delicious. It reminds me, like you know, Matilda, where they, the the chocolate cake, the chocolate cake in Matilda. Ah. Oh. I, I wish I, I wish I could have a piece of that. It looks like that, and I quite want it. I, I want that more than I want that for some reason. <laughs> you know you're in a rough area where the cathedral city is the security box. <laughs> Sir David Attenborough, named Champion of the Earth by UN. Does that mean he needs to fight other champions from other planets? I think that would be really cool. How the British version of There's no way Freddo's are 68p. 68p per 100 grams. Yeah, so six. It's six Freddo's. Six Freddo's for... Hey, wait, 63, so it's 63 people. I mean, that's, that sounds about right. I think... I, I, I don't... I'm, this hurts my head. Milf Hunter, that is a sick trim, by the way. It looks like a it looks like a speech bubble. And he got... He got... He got his milk. I don't know if that's his mum or a potential suitor but uh either way actually no no not either way not either way well done if it's not your mum that is fucking foul baked beans make me sick there's no there's no reason for them to exist they're just they're just foul they're foul look at them they look ugh, they look like a disease and then you got what like cabbage ugh, and gravy gravy mixing with the the bean the bean ugh, the bean sauce no 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 your top window was wide open i threw it in there smiley face well good aim it just just let's just hope it's not fragile to be fair, I've almost done that before. Like, not not for the tube, but like on for the train. Because like, you know, you put your hand out for the bus. I, I would go to put my hand out for the train because like in my, in my younger years, I didn't use the train that often. I used buses. So I put my hand out. I go to put my hand out, and then I'd be like, oh no, I don't need to do that. The train's just going to stop anyway. So yeah, that's 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 a good little anecdote from me. I hope you enjoyed that. The American section in a British supermarket. I mean, yeah, it looks about right. I mean, I used to love going to the American candy sections in uh, in like shopping centers and stuff. I thought it was it was like my favorite activity in a shopping center we used to have this big one like like 20 minutes from my house and i had an american candy section i go there like every weekend and just look and see what they got in and i don't know why because like now i'm an adult i realize that american candy and chocolate is way 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 inferior to what we have here but i think it was just like i was like oh this is so cool i see this in on on the on the american tv shows but now american candy and chocolate mid as hell british and european confectionery oh top tier. My dad wore his beer mug socks in public today. Good for him. Those look great. I, I, where can I get beer mugs? I didn't know those were a thing. And now I know they're a thing. I think I, I might need to buy some. No one. Every village or in the UK. They always had the same flooring. It, it was, it's always the same. And you could smell it. They all, all these all these halls had this exact same distinct smell. I know you're thinking of it right now. They all smell the same. And the chairs, everyone, they had the same chairs. Good. Good. N n I've never met a good person that likes a bounty. Everyone I've ever met that likes bounty is a wrong one. Also, twelve pound, twelve pound for a bounty, a bounty Easter egg. I didn't realise how expensive Easter eggs were until I went to the shop to get one. Holy fuck, they're expensive. They're like eight quid. When did I thought they would be like four or five? When did they get so expensive? London may have more money and Vienna more culture. Rome may have more history and Paris more style, but Glasgow has the biggest heart. My grand got stabbed in Glasgow. Studio to let in London two thousand a month. To be fair, like London rents have become insane. But like, I remember when. When I first moved to London, I got my flat for 2,000 months, which may seem extortionate, but then like I'm splitting it with a flatmate, so we pay a grand each. Which in London is like not bad at all. You gotta think about like opportunity costs. But now, like that same flat is going for like like close it's probably going for close to like maybe around two seven hundred. I have a mate who's moving to Argentina because his rent here is so high. He only has like this little one bed flat in in one of like the new builds in, in East London. And it's uh, it's so expensive. I think they're trying to get him to pay like like for close to three grand a month for a tiny one bedroom it's insane this was a mad stage of the pandemic yeah why did why did people go this far with it surely that's just dangerous surely that is more dangerous than contracting covid putting a plastic bag over your head that's that can't be safe like you saw people out in like fucking gas masks it's like fucking calm down just, just wear a face mask i think that'll do the job if it's wobbling the wife's gobbling great <laughs>
<laughs> Man fined for pretending to be a ghost in Portsmouth Cemetery. Police spokesman <laughs> says witnesses complained about Anthony throwing his arms in the air and saying woo. <laughs> <laughs> Free my guy. He did nothing wrong. He was entertaining the locals. Mr. Brightside British clubs at 2 a.m. I think I'm at that age now where I'm a bit sick of Mr. Brightside. I've heard it. Too, I've heard it too, one too many times. But it is a staple. It's an absolute night out staple. A night out isn't complete without Mr. Brightside. You can only save one. A full English brekkie, a roast dinner, and fish. I'd say I'd take a fish and chips. It's easy, easy, solid meal. Like full English breakfast. That, that, that's not even like a good full English breakfast. I don't like that bit. I don't like. I, I, I don't like eggs. I only like I don't like fried eggs. I only like scrambled eggs. I I, I move half this plate, and that's roast beef. That's not that's not it's not chicken. Nah nah mm, nah nah. I'm taking the fish and chips. Always solid. <laughs> No, hang on. I need, to, I need to research if this is real. Oh my god, this is real. No way. A teen staged a hold up at his local takeaway with a kitchen knife as he demanded free chips. The 19-year-old banged the weapon on the counter of the kebab shop and told staff he would cut them if they did hand over his fries quickly. He was arrested and continued shouting, give me the fucking chips. I mean, I don't, need, I don't mean to judge a book by its cover, but... All I'm saying is, if there was a man to rob his local takeaway with a kitchen knife and demand free chips, like nothing else, no money, no nothing, it'd, it'd, be, it'd be this man before you right now. New Elf Bar, new, 5 99 each or two for a tenner. Or you can get it on finance before, if you get a fucking Elf Bar on finance, you have a problem. How are they, how are they going to enforce this? Are they going to send the bailiffs around to collect their 40p a week? It's not, it's not such a low loan. Why, why would you even bother? For chasing it up. Box in a bin. I like it. I don't know why I like it. I just do. Right, so this is an Iceland takeaway, scarily spicy Carolina Reaper curry. That actually looks quite nice. <laughs> He didn't handle it very well, I don't think. What? Whoever keeps throwing trifle up my car, fucking pack it in. This is the second time. If you have a problem with me, tell me and we'll have a straight <laughs> straightener. Doing things like this makes you look childish and cowardly. I'll punch your head in. I mean, you must you must have done something to someone for them to consistently throw trifle at your car. Out of date alcohol, discounted price, two pounds. Is it worth it? Debate in the comments. I don't think it is because you could get very ill off that, but... Debate it. Debate it in the comments. We found this in Nigeria. Stolen London borough of Croydon waste bin. How would you even get that to there? Surely that's re that's a really expensive item to ship just because of how large it is. Feels like LA. Bournemouth pit is probably nicer than LA, to be honest. LA is probably the worst place I've been in my life. Like, ge like genuinely. Because I've been there twice. The first time I went, I kind of, I think I accidentally went to like the one nice bit in LA and kind of just stayed in that bit. The second time I went, I was exposed to the full force of Los Angeles, and oh my god, it's it's so it's awful. Pie and pint only seventeen pounds. Oh, that's only Monday and Tuesday. On, on, on other days, it's it's way more expensive. How is that an advertisable deal? All right, Balenciaga, whatever the fuck this is, one thousand three hundred and fifty, and these shite shoes, eight hundred and twenty-five. Now I'm I I I can I'm not one of these people that's like, oh, why would you pay a five hundred pound for a hoodie? Because I can see the appeal. A nice hoodie, it, if if you've got a lot of money, is appealing. I can see the appeal of that but fuck me who i mean that maybe if you're a massive dickhead but who the fuck is wearing that? they're like they're like shit slazengers from 20 years ago i think we as a society should reinvent slazenger as like a as like a cool brand because all these fucking balenciagas they're ripping them off they're ripping off their style and just like putting a massive price tag on it Nah, nah. we, we need to bring slazenger into into high fashion <laughs> are you from manchester or just here for uni or something here for uni yeah i thought you looked too exo exotic where are you from Birmingham? <laughs> Oh, and then this video is my fucking favourite video ever. Just woke up in a fucking steaming mood, <laughs> yeah, because I live in a shithole. Do you know what I mean? Birmingham. I love that. I, I'm try, I've been, I tried to find the full video of this, but I can't find it anywhere. Like the, the, video, like the video on his, I can't find it. What is a person from London called? My neighbour is from London and he is called Rob. <laughs> And two people f thumbs that up because they found it helpful. Court refuses trial by combat. A court has rejected a 60-year-old man's attempt to invoke <laughs> the ancient right to trial by combat rather than pay a £25 fine for a minor motoring offence. Leon, I mean, it would be someone with a name like Leon Humphreys. I mean, Leon Humphreys remained adamant yesterday that his right to fight a champion nominated by the DVLA was still valid under European human rights legislation. He said it would have been a reason reasonable way to settle the matter.
just let him, let him do it. Let him do it. Why not? We should bring back trial by combat, I think. When you're on cop playing shit, man, and some guy running around knifing you, so I should fuck me, the ground on this is awful. So I shouts, I'm going to ram the knife up your ass. And someone heard me and called the police on my address for a domestic disturbance. This is a criminal offense. I don't drink tea. Is this bad? Is this bad or something? Is it too milky? I think it might be too milky. I don't drink tea. <laughs> Yesterday, a mate of mine told the driver of the black horse to do not park in the company's parking space for the umpteenth time. He gave my mate attitude and ignorance, so I mate put a scaffold up around his car. <laughs> Pan out chocolate, one pound. I must say, Greg's pizza is highly underrated. It's not like your traditional. I, I'm not sponsored by Greg's in case it came across like that, but I just fucking love Greg's. I'm on a great. I'm on a Greg's binge at the moment. The one opened up near me, and I'm 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 in there like every day. Greg's pizza. It's like it's like someone got like very soft bread and just put like cheese. And, it's very good. It's not like traditional pizza, but I like it. It's quite it's quite sumptuous. I think that's the word I'd use to describe it. <laughs> <laughs> and on the sixth day, God created Manchester. Do fucking right, Gary. That's a sick tattoo. Who who fuck it? Who would get something like this? What even is that? What is that? <laughs> Just in case someone wants to know his name. It's like, you know, footballers have their names on the back of their shirts. Why can't Craig have his name on his back? So many fake smiles, you never know what someone's going through. That pint just cost £5.50. That is cheap for London. I'm pretty sure I paid £10 for a pint once. And it was like, because like once they, what, you, you order like a, like a pint or something like that. And they whip out the car machine. And once they do that, you can't really do anything. You look at it, it's like, fuck, you're, you're at their mercy. They could put £100 on that thing and I'd still pay it. And it's like, you see a tenner, it's like, oh, Fuck. Do you just have that pint and just leave? <laughs> Someone is selling a Google, a Google Nest Mini Gen 2 for £25 in Glasgow, Scotland. Because of course it's in Glasgow. You fucking stole this from me at my thesis christening, you trap. No one buy this. He's a robbing bastard. You don't deserve such desirable electronics and neither does your county. <laughs> oh, no. What? Have they actually rebranded Lil? It just looks like off-brand. It just... No, that's not tr That's not real. It just looks like really off-brand Fanta. No, no way. I'm looking this up. Oh, it is real. I think. I think. I think it's real. Ah, oh, why have they done that then? <laughs> anyone hold this cat just seen it knock this fence over? <laughs> Board so does anyone want to fight? I will give you fifty pound if you win, but you probably won't cheers, Tony. <laughs> Man spends two years building tunnel from house to shed to avoid rain. I mean, that seems like a perfectly reasonable use of time. You know, why would you just like go and get an umbrella when you could <laughs> build a tunnel to your shed? Anyway, guys, I'm going to leave it there for today's video. I hope you did enjoy. If you did, be sure to like and subscribe if you're new. And I'll see you in a bit. Bye.